So the big question is this, how do small businesses like yours, who feel like you're doing all the right things and going to all the right events, reach the federal buyer in a way that helps you win more contracts? That is the question, and this is the place to get your answers. My name is Neil McDonald. Welcome to the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. Okay, let's get started. There are a lot of services available to you if you're thinking about starting a business and selling to the federal government. In this series, Introduction to Government Funded Resources, I'll walk you through these organizations and help you understand how to get the most from their services. Today, I'll focus on Procurement Technical Assistance Centers, or PTACs. This content is brought to you by the GovCon Chamber of Commerce, the only organization dedicated to the success of all small businesses in the federal space with members from Guam to the U.S. Virgin Islands and every single state in between. Each year, roughly $125 billion is awarded to small businesses as prime contractors. Our vision is to double that number by helping small businesses truly understand the process for success. Small businesses are the backbone of America. By helping you succeed further in government contracting, we'll be helping American communities. My name is Neil McDonald, and I've been where you are now. I've been a small business owner for 20 years, building two successful firms selling to the federal government. I've won subcontracts with small and large prime contractors. I've won prime contracts with defense and civilian agencies. I've done things right and I've gotten things wrong. The one thing missing though for me then and you now is an easy to follow process that will lead to predictable success. That's my commitment to you. I'll provide the process. If you accept responsibility and don't blame others, you'll find you have the control to change your future. There are seven primary organizations or groups that can serve as mentors on your journey to small business success in federal government contracting. In a separate video, I provided a quick introduction to these seven mentors, the Small Business Development Centers, Women's Business Centers, Veterans Business Outreach Centers, Procurement Technical Assistance Centers, Agency Small Business Professionals, and the SBA's Business Opportunity Specialists and Procurement Center representatives. Take a minute and watch that video if you haven't. If you'd like to get a copy of the PDF for this slide um, with the seven government mentors, leave a nice comment below asking for a copy and I'll send it to you. Let's go ahead and move forward and learn about PTACs. In this brief introduction to the Procurement Technical Assistance Centers, I'll tell you a little bit about them. I'll give you an idea of what services they offer and where they're at. Finally, I'll give you my two cents on how a PTAC can help you. The Procurement Technical Assistance Program is administered and funded by the Defense Logistics Agency, which in turn provides funding to local PTACs in cooperation with states, local governments, and nonprofit organizations. The PTACs were established to expand the number of businesses capable of participating in government contracts. The logo in the middle is the Association of Procurement Technical Assistance Centers, um, APTAC is the professional organization of and for DLA-funded procurement technical assistance centers. They support the PTACs by providing them important information, professional networking, uh, comprehensive training opportunities, and then they also serve as a voice in the national government contracting assistance and policy arenas. PTAC counselors from around the country can offer you a lot of services, such as helping you with questions about day-to-day -day operations of your company or planning for and identifying purchasing agencies and buyer representatives. In particular to federal government contracting, there are a lot of rules and processes and your local PTAC counselor can walk you through the fundamentals so you build a strong foundational knowledge. A key area that PTACs can help with is identifying opportunities for prime contracts with agencies or subcontracts with both small and large government contractors. They can do this both through training and help around the various bid databases out there, but they can also strategically introduce you um, if you prove that you're procurement ready. There are currently 94 PTAPs and PTACs around the country, from Guam to Puerto Rico, with over 300 locations to service their local customers. Small businesses like you are those customers and they're there to serve you. One thing to note for you Alaskan Native and Native American Indian owned firms there are PTACs dedicated to supporting your unique needs and who are committed to your success. 
While everyone will say they can help you with everything, I believe that each of the mentors I mentioned on the previous slide fill a specific need. So here's my two cents on P-Tax. First, procurement is in their name. That should tell you their area of expertise right out of the gate. Go to the SBDC to learn how to start your business and go to the P-Tax on how to enter the government markets. Don't waste a PTAC counselor's time with questions about your accounting or website. Yes, they can absolutely answer and they often do help you, but that's not the best use of their time. Talk with PTAC about how to strategically pursue government business and in particular federal contracting. Only some PTACs come right out and say this, but I wish they all would. Don't knock on their doors until you've been in business for two years and have started making money. The SBA provides a ton of resources and counselors to get you through the two-year mark, but they don't have the training and experience PTAC counselors have. Just use each of these mentors at the right point in your business journey. Think about this. There's uh, 300,000 or so government contracting, federal government contracting small businesses out there at any given point. And at any given point, there's around 500 or so PTAC counselors. They just can't help everybody. And so when we get in there and talk to them, we want to make sure we're talking to their area of expertise. Finally, one of my favorite areas for you to get support from the PTAX that far too few small businesses take advantage of is the proposal help. PTAX can provide guidance reviewing an RFP for fitness to your core competencies. And then as you pursue an opportunity, they can provide guidance and feedback, including reviewing your proposal drafts. They will not do the work for you, but they'll bring decades of experience to your team for free. If you approach them in the right way, um, and that right way is talking to them long before you have a specific need and long before any proposals do. Don't just show up and say, hey, there's something due on Monday. Can you help me write the proposal? That's just not going to happen, right? But if you start uh, months and uh, months in advance, you'll, you'll really find you can get the best help from them. One last little note here. I often hear PTAX promote their services as free but that's not quite true. They're funded in part or whole by your tax dollars. You've already paid for the services by paying for DLA and the local P-Tax through your taxes. The P-Tax don't charge you again since you've already paid for these services. Think about this. If you paid for a cell phone, you're going to use the cell phone, right? Well, make sure you use the P-Tax. They're committed to helping you. If you follow their guidance, you will be successful. If you found this content valuable, others will too. Please give it a thumbs up so they can find it. If you'd like to connect with me personally, do so on LinkedIn. We often do free training webinars and interview federal buyers. Make sure to sign up for the GovCon Chamber's email list to be notified about these opportunities at www.govconchamber.com. Finally, please consider becoming a sustaining member of the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. I'm Neil McDonald, wishing you great success.